Hello, I'm Kate and this is another charity shop haul. So I hope you're okay and you've had a nice day so far. Sending love to everyone. Hello. I've got lots of um, bargains to show you, lots of treasure from my charity shop visits recently. And I've got like a selection of homeware and I've also got some dresses. So lots of things that I'm going to be showing you that I found in the charity shops. Just to let you know, I've got the window open because it's very hot today. So just in case you can hear noises and like beep beeps, you know, cars and stuff or buses. Um, I've got the window open, just thought I'd let you know. You might not be able to hear anything. And then Rufus is also here having a snooze. He's sitting next to me on the sofa. And before I get into it there, I've got to do my mug of the day. And I've got this lovely one here. Lee made me, um, Lee made me a cup of tea and a cup of decaf tea. So he picked this mug and I was like, do you know what? I would have probably chosen that mug. It's lovely. I'm sure it was a charity shop one or a car boot one. And it is, oh, it's Portobello by Inspire and that is from I think the range sell these I don't think I found it there anyway this is my mug of the day it's really pretty I've got a couple of bites on my arms just in case you see them you're like what are they I got bitten by mosquitoes yesterday um in the garden naughty mosquitoes um, I'm filming this probably about a week in advance is when it's really hot you know the hot weather so I'm not gonna not sure what's happening between now and next week when I put this on but I think there's some rain coming the rain is coming or it might have been because I'm recording this in the past and then this will be watched in the future so hello hello in the future anyway shut up now right I'm gonna show you my bargains I'm gonna start off with this lovely dress um and where's this from I found it quite a while ago charity no I knew you said it's from charity it's from charity shop it's from cancer research UK and it was three pounds it's just a lovely lovely summer dress I haven't worn it yet actually I don't really wear I normally keep things to show on YouTube and then I wear them the odd thing I might wear but I like to wait show things and then wear them so I might put this on later because I think we're going to go down to the beach anyway this is just a really pretty summer dress like ditzy print with little I don't know if you can see them it's got little like sweet sequins sequins all around the top and down this bit here with little buttons it goes in at the waist and flares out and it's got pockets yay i think this is new look yeah new look size 12 three pounds from cancer research uk and it's got an elasticated back so hopefully that will i haven't tried it on actually but i'm sure that'll be nice so a lovely little dress is about knee length as well. And I probably will be doing some Instagram photos wearing these. So if you want to have a look at what they look like, head over, head over to Instagram. Um, I'll link my Instagrams in the description. I've got two accounts, Kate McKay, which is my normal one. And I like show dresses and mugs and Rufus and different things. And I've got my house account as well. So I show pictures of our house. So two different Instagram accounts. So yeah, that's the first thing I'll show you this dress. So I'm actually just going to chuck it over there. On the bed and then i've got two more dresses to show you which i've tried that one on i've tried the last one on that that fits really nicely um but i haven't worn it yet this is a brand new yes it's got the tags in here a brand new vera moda dress and what does it say yes yeah, so it's not been worn before it's got all the tags i love it when you find things in charity shops and it's you know not been worn before it's like it's the best and it says on it pink lemonade that's the name of the dress and it's a large but it doesn't look like a large to me that looks like a, a size 12 I think or a 12 14 so that looks like it's gonna be really nice soft material like t-shirty jersey material when I say jersey material does that make sense I say it a lot because a lot of the dresses I find are normally jersey material so if that is the right thing it's like that softy stretchy material I hope it's the right I'm saying the right thing Anyway, this was half price from RSPCA and it was £2.25, which is really good for, you know, a brand new dress. There's no pockets, but it's, I think it's going to be a nice length. I love this, the pinks and the greens, if you can see, pink and green with a bit of black at the back. So this is going to be perfect um, for, you know, eventually when you go on holiday or to wear at the beach or just with a little t-shirt underneath. A white t-shirt might look quite nice. So £2.25 for that dress. Right, I'm going to put them up there, then I'm going to put them in my wardrobe. What did I just say? Yeah, I chuck them over there, then I'll put them in my wardrobe. And I did have, just in case you're like, where are you putting all your stuff? Um, I had a huge declutter over the last couple of days and I've got bags and bags for the charity shop. So I was really like strict. I went through all my wardrobes and my dresses 
and I think there's about six huge bags, maybe seven big bags downstairs full of dresses and like a few notebooks and just other things. So I'm going to donate them in the next couple of days. And the last dress I'm going to show you is really lovely. So it's navy blue and the pattern is so pretty. It's got like little, little hearts or little flowers, but they look like hearts, little branches of heart flowers. And the make is Lily and Me. It sounds nice, I've not heard of that before, but it sounds like a nice, I'm sure it's a nice brand. And it's cotton, it's really soft, it's not stretchy. It's just really nice cotton. And it's a size 14, it was £4.50 and it's from Relate in Norwich. This is when I went to, I went charity shopping with Louise. So we found loads of things. Louise did a charity shop haul as well. So if you fancy watching that, I'll link my previous charity shop haul in the description and Louise's charity shop haul. Louise is my best friend and she does YouTube as well. So if you, you might already be subscribed to her, but if you're not, make sure you watch the video and subscribe and say hello. Um, and she does all kinds of videos. She does charity shop ones, car, oh no, she didn't do a car boot, but she probably will. Um, and she does Slimming World meals as well. So she's got, she's lovely. Hello Louise, if you're watching. Um, so I bought this when I was with Louise and this fits really nicely. It's got pockets and it's lined. I think it's just it's quite heavy dress so it feels like it's like really good quality yeah it's lined as well and it's down to the knee it's just very very pretty it's quite um it's quite a smart dress it's, you know it's a nice one that you could wear somewhere and you'd look nice i haven't worn it yet i've tried this one on it fits really nicely but i will wear it somewhere soon and it has pockets as well which is brilliant i love a dress i love a dress with pockets and that is just past the knee and there is little ties at the back as well. So yes, I like this dress very much. I'll just chuck it on the bed with the others. And the rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you is all home decor. So I'm gonna start off with these plates. I've had these for quite a while. I bought these when we went to um, the pigs. We went to North Norfolk in July. So it's quite a while ago. And I've kept them in a little pile to show you. And then I'm gonna go and like use them. But I saw them, I thought they were just very different Okay, so these two, I just thought they might look amazing for Instagram. Or, you know, if you have like some cakes or something, they're kind of like cake stands, but with no bottom. It's posh little plates, so they might look quite nice with sandwiches on. I picked them up, then I put them down, and then I picked them up and put them down again. You know, you're like, oh, I don't know if I should, I should get them. So I thought, I'd just get them. They're a pound each. And then if I don't use them, I can re donate them. They're both the same, just lovely glass plates really sort of beautiful detail rspca in north norfolk actually i think the dress from the rspca that was north norfolk as well i think that was chroma or sheringham one of the two just lovely detail all over it so it's quite smooth on the top obviously like jagged edge around the around the rim then on the bottom it's all the detail so i just thought i would get them and hopefully I can use them. It might be nice for Christmas, actually. I just, I don't know. I just felt I should get them. Or, what did I think of this? Quite nice if you had a smaller plate inside them. I don't know. I shall see. Which leads me to my next things. These are also plates, but they, actually they're more bowls, I think. They're kind of like, yeah, I'd say these are more, these are good for pasta. So maybe these are there's a bit of grass on it maybe these are more kind of pasta bowls they're just really really pretty again I wasn't sure about these and I thought oh, I'm just gonna have to get them because I really like the pink it's kind of pale pink dusky pink salmony pink and I, I like this pink and these were oh they were four pounds for two that's actually quite a lot but obviously I like them but they're quite deep so I can put some pasta in there or something or curry or something. I don't know. I just thought they were quite nice together, maybe. What do you reckon? And I think they'd be really nice in a picture for Instagram, maybe in the greenhouse. That's quite nice, isn't it? So that kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see. But I do like a I do like a deep dish and there's little like polka dots on them with flowers. Yeah, I love those. Really pretty. No, I thought that was chipped, but it's not. It's just just how it is. So two of those for four pounds from RSPCA. And the make, it says on the back, Bord, what's it say, Bordallo, Bordallo 
Oh, I'll show it to you. Made in Portugal. So they could have been maybe in TK Maxx or something. What do you reckon? I like those. I like those a lot. I found quite a few home decor items in Cancer Research in Great Yarmouth. They've got a huge, huge shop. So if you are in Great Yarmouth or in Norfolk or Norwich, it's worth looking in um, the huge Cancer Research shop on the Gapton Hall Retail Park because it's just full. The dresses, like they have a whole like, wall of dresses. And I didn't used to be able to find things. And then since like after lockdown, I think I found some things just before. And then after lockdown, I started to find a lot more. So it's one of my favorite charity shops now. And I found some lovely homey pieces. Um, and I think there's some more in my previous haul, my last charity shop haul. So I'll link that, like I said, in the description. And there's more things from Cancer Research. You okay? Um, so I got this little plant and that was two pounds. I don't know where it's from originally, maybe like Matalan or somewhere. And it's got a nice, Mustard rufus are snoring, mustard yellow bottom, and just some nice pattern here with a little fake plant, but that looks quite realistic, I think. So that'll be quite nice somewhere in my house or in here when we eventually get around to doing it, whenever that will be. And then just a nice vase. I love vases. I've bought quite a lot over the last like year or so, but I just like having all different sizes. So I don't know if anyone else does this, but when you get flowers, you can put them in a big vase. And then like a week later, I cut them down a bit so I, I get them out of the old vase and then I cut them so they're shorter and they last longer so I'll put fresh water in here and then put the smaller flowers in and I keep doing that till they're all gone even like the last few when they're nearly all gone there might be a couple of little stems or little flowers that are, st or rufus that are still okay and then I put them in a little I've got really small vases so I keep using different vases for different stages of your flowers life if that makes sense you know it's so like cut flowers not cut flowers but you know when you buy a bunch of flowers so that is what um that's what i've been doing and i just find vases of different sizes are great and that's a really sweet one that was two pounds i could also put a candle in there actually and again all this stuff i can use when we get married next year hopefully when we get married i might just be saying this forever and then we'll never get married oh, we'll get married next year and then something else will happen but i'm sure it will next year I don't know. And then what have I got here? I've got some really nice things. Just move those plates. Um, this is cute. This is just a little drinks cup. It's brand new and it's got like leaves and things all over it. It was a pound and it's got a pink straw, a gold top, and that'll just be quite nice like in the garden or something. I do like a drink with a lid so the bugs can't get in it and it's brand new it's from paper chase i love paper chase things as well so it's got a little tag inside here it just says paper case paper case paper case paper chase cup with a straw blah 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 yeah so i like that and that was a pound okay i've got a couple more things from cancer research uk and these were two pounds each and i saw them and thought i may as well get them because they might be quite fun so this is uh, it says Flamingo Ice Stirrers, makes four ice stirrers, ice stirrers, two pounds and basically it's, it's an ice cube tray thing isn't it? You just put water in that bit and then, oh that's good, so basically you'll have an ice cube on the end of your flamingo in your drink and you can stir it, that's like the gold stirrers, oh I like those, I'm glad I got those, they'll um, They'll come in handy. They're sweet. Where are they from? It just says Paladone on the bottom, so I don't know. Maybe they're like a TK Maxx thing. I'm not sure, but I like those. I don't think it's a home bargains thing, as it would say, wouldn't it? Like you can recognise home bargains items. And then, oh, I just got lipstick on my face. I think I'm okay. This is another ice tray, but these are words. So this is two pounds as well. The maker's Zoku. Cheers ice tray. Four ice moulds. And makes two cheers and two salute ice. Two salute ice. Um, so I'll just raise the bar when you raise a glass. So they obviously go, in, oh yeah, they're going sideways. So I'll just open these up. They're for us anyway. So I'll just open them up and show you. Rufus is in a, a deep sleep. Oh, just getting them out. So these are obviously brand new. Probably someone got them for a gift and then they were like, no, don't want them. Someone could have just bought them. They've got glitter on them for some reason. So I'll give them a good wash and then just put water in here. And then I'll have four ice cube things. 
with different oh. writing on. Cheers and salute. Was that salute? Salute! Is that what it is? I think that is, isn't it? It must be cheers. I'm pretty sure. Where are they from? Made in and designed in the USA. Hey Google, what does salute mean? Salut is used as an exclamation to mean, used to express friendly feelings towards one's companions before drinking. Do you want to hear salut. how salut is spelled? Yes, please. Salut is spelled S-A-L-U-T. Oh, hey Google, what about the E on it? According to Wikipedia, oh. Eon Shea is a European electric utility company based in Essen. Hey Google, turn off. Yeah, so if you, I don't know. Turn Sorry, oh. power control is not supported yet. She's trying to get in on my, this isn't a double act, you Google. You Google, be quiet. And this might be one of my favourite finds. I love it. It's like an old fashioned watering can. Well, it's just a galvanised steel watering can, but it looks kind of old fashioned. And... It's lovely. I think it might be Ikea originally, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't, but it's just, I saw it and I was really, um, I thought that is lovely. And then it had these flowers on top like that. And the whole thing, but I'm not going to put them in there. They were just like that for sale with it. The whole thing was two pounds, which is just brilliant. So I'll keep those for something else. I love this. I think that's going to look amazing either like in the greenhouse or in our house with flowers in I don't even know but I just love it I think it's really lovely and I do love a watering can when I water my flowers and stuff in the garden I take two round with me sometimes because you're just doing lots of lots of walking about but yeah I love that any ideas um for this as well let me know if you think of anything else to do you right Rufus he's having a itch he's just here oh roll fast yeah so two pounds for that and I love it I think it's really nice maybe just in the greenhouse actually that'll look nice um, and then the last few things I'm going to finish off on are these. I've got some little cushion covers and they were £1.50 each. Again, I bought all of this quite a while ago, so it's all been like quarantine, waiting for me to show it to you. I'm going to give them a wash after I've shown you though. And £1.50 for the two from East Coast Hospice. Just really nice cushion covers. So these can go outside or I can put them in the greenhouse or whatever I want I just thought I would get them and then I can actually they might look quite nice on the landing all kinds of different colours in them so I'll go with most colour schemes I think because they've got a bit of everything so I just thought I'd have to get them and they're only yeah 75p each I've got the two of them and these last two things are absolutely gorgeous I got them in Bernardo's and I couldn't didn't find anything so I was like walking around I was like, oh there's nothing here and then out of the corner of my eye I saw the cushion covers and look what was there. This is absolutely lovely. I don't know where it's from. I have a look on the inside. It was 50p. I mean, like originally from, I know it was from Bernardo's. I don't think it says, oh, here we go. Pinky, Pimkey. Hang on, I'll show you. Pimkey, if you can see that, it smells really nice. Um, and where's, oh yeah, here you go, 50p. It says on the bottom there. And they did have another one quite similar but it looked a little bit worn whereas this one looks in perfect condition and this is going to look great in here or maybe in our living room because we've got a new dark grey sofa or actually look quite nice in here I just love that so much I love the style I love it so yeah one pound no 50p for this cushion cover that would be really you know if you saw this in a posh shop that'd be really expensive wouldn't it so yeah 50p for that with my other cushion covers totally different style to the other ones but really nice and then the last thing i'm going to show you is this and as i was leaving bernardo's so obviously i didn't find anything then up the corner of my eye i saw that cushion cover and then i left and i always forget to look in the windows when i first go in i just go straight in but when i come out i always then have a little look so i always remember to look in the windows at charity shops i know some people probably do but i always forget i don't know why so i as i looked as i walked out i walked around the corner and i just looked back and and in hanging up on the side of something was this lovely macrame hanging thing and this was two pounds and it's really nice. So it's quite a big one. It's been made really well. I bought some of these from um, B&M for £2. 
and they're nice as well. So I've just, they're actually in the kitchen and one's outside in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna put a few in here as well. So I've just put them everywhere, but I think they go with most styles. I don't think you can, like with our, our house is like old, it's Georgian, but you can put whatever you want in them. You don't have to stick to certain styles. So I just keep putting them everywhere and I think they just work really well. Just nice, neutral, um, natural, neutral, um, you know, what are they called, decor. Goes with all this, doesn't it? It's just lovely and really well made. Better than the ones from B&M. It's just lovely, really nice and long little hanger. So yeah, that was two pounds. Love that, love those two. They must've come from the same person because it's kind of the same style, isn't it? So that is everything. That is my charity shop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give the video a like and make sure you subscribe as well. And subscribing is completely free. You just need to put in your email address and I don't know why I did that like you'd write it, but you would, but it would be on computer or on your phone. And yeah, you just put your email address in, then you won't miss any videos from your favourite YouTubers. So let me know your favourite um, item in the comments as well. If I had to choose, I love, well, I love everything. I always love everything because I bought it. I think it's got to be this. These three actually are going to be my favourite. I love the plates and all the other bits and the plants, but I think these are just lovely you'd see you could see those in tico max couldn't you and you pay a lot more money for them i love them so yeah i think they're my favorite in this haul so let me know your one in the comments and like i said i will add my previous charity shop haul louise's charity shop haul and videos that i have done recently as well so they'll all be in the description i've done loads of car boot sale hauls so if you like car boot sales um you're gonna love those videos or if you um like charity shops and bargains car boot sales are just brilliant because things are just so cheap and everyone's kind of decluttering at the moment so I've been doing lots of car boot sales shopping so I'll add my previous hauls in the description as well as then my um, Instagram too but have a lovely day and I will speak to you very soon I do videos every Wednesday and Friday and then I might add the you know the odd one here and there as well so look out for my videos Monday not Monday Wednesday and Friday so thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you soon bye